Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 The New Order, Last Days of Europe with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Empire of Japan. So the two things have happened in between episodes. <laughs> First one, um, actually I was kind of surprised, Wolf Owl mentioned um, one thing in particular that I completely missed and that is the fact that having a score or having you know a position in the top three nations in the scoreboard actually gives you quite a big bonus to your uh, performance, which is something I completely missed. So we're getting daily by being the first one in the table. Daily political power gain of 0.3, war support of plus 6%, a reset speed of 12 extra percent, maximum command power plus 30, consumer goods production factor plus 12%, and depth ceiling plus 30, which is amazing. United States being the second get 0.15 political power uh, plus 3, war support plus 6% reset speed, Maximum command power increase of 15, uh, consumer goods production factor plus 6, and depth ceiling 15. And Germany being the last one gets a tiny bit of political power point 1 per day, 2% war support, 4% reset speed, 10 command power, 4% consumer goods production factor, and depth ceiling of plus 10. That is something that I completely missed. And second one is kind of funny. Uh, I actually found out that this panel that has been covered this whole time has been covered because I clicked on this and I have no idea why. When I did that or how I missed that, but there is actually... <laughs> you can access the Imperial Diet no problem from here. What? When did I do? Well, sometimes I'm my worst enemy anyway. Uh, let's uh, move on uh, to the more pressing things. We are currently running the focus called Agricultural Relief which we want to get to help um, further boost our economy, uh, which is doing an unbelievably great uh, compared to what was happening before. Uh, we'll have the bill in the diet uh, very soon and we'll have enough to pass it, but I'll still hoard up this political power and s make sure that we don't suffer any issues. Our units that have been fighting on the side of Azandalan have recently capitulated uh, by African state, by African state, and they're now moving towards uh, Leopoldville Verwaltung. Um, the second, actually, that's one unit. The second unit is still fighting uh, in or against Congo, which on the uh, south is fighting again Leopoldville Verwaltung. And on the east state of Katanga. I wish we could send them. Let me check if this didn't change. Nope, we can still only send them two divisions. Okay, well, never mind. It's gonna be a little bit rough, but what can we do? Hopefully, our units are up for this because we really need to press them harder. Hmm. Are we constructing? We are. We're building a couple of schools and then we're going to go back to building administrative offices. We already have a 77% coverage, which gives us... How much? Uh, it's political... Gain factor. Oh, 9.9%. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And we would get additional... Uh, bonus of a little bit. So I guess because we're at 77% that would be like plus 15% or something. Okay, so now we need to take Albert Will. And that... No, there's also this one. Uh, let me see how they're doing. Congolese Katangin. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna give up until we take both Albert Will and Ah, uh, what's the Den... Denhardstad? Denhardstad. Okay, and you need to pass all the way to here. That's where we are going to start having options left, right or center. Up until then, it's just moving in straight line. Uh, I would like to keep you running for a bit so that our units can move up north but they're still fighting each other that would be preferable 
Okay, so no, <laughs> we have just finished that. Okay, Azandavan has uh, defeated the Congo state in a war. So how much GDP do you have now? Uh, 161 billion, that's still probably not even enough for one factory. Okay. Not great. Okay, so here I see in the first German unit, here's the second one. They're probably getting two as well. So what we need to do here is we need to keep them busy. And by busy, I mean we need to keep attacking them all the freaking time. Making sure that they will always be occupied here. So our um, first Kutei Haishinten can fight in the northwest easily. Because these guys are not going to be a real adversary. The Light Wehrmacht Brigade is not going to be anything for us to worry about. Okay, so agricultural relief continue. Okay, so this area has been taken. Which is fair, you know, I mean, that is definitely a thing that can happen. Uh, but we need to engage in the stronger units. Where is the other one? There were two of them here. I really do hope they didn't send it here because then that would become way more complicated. But still, I think that. Uh, okay, they get about 40k. And we got. Well, about 40k, so it is extremely, extremely even. <laughs> the excuses of empires. Angola, a land of humidity, jungles, mud and death. A nation of little importance, which was barely industrialized and that held nothing but the bitter wounds and consequences of Nazism. Yet he was here all the same, a Japanese commander in Angola, assisting the PLUAA against the elephant-backed Unita. He looked out the window in his uh, small office as children played with a ball below and released a resigned sigh. What was he even doing here? What was even the point of this escapade? Spreading the liberation of Pan-Asianism? In Africa, Angola was well beyond where Cooper's prosperity sphere was supposed to end. There had been a time when he did believed in the cause and mission where he'd been proud knowing that they, they were better than the imperialists who had enslaved and exploited Asia for so long. Now, though, he found this entire situation uncomfortable. Wrong. Japan had as much right to involve itself in Africa as the Olafen did, which was, in short, none whatsoever. How exactly were they, were they supposed to claim to be? be better than the Germans and Americans when they engaged in the same imperial tactics. The politicians sold it as spreading liberation and protection from the evil West, the exact same excuses the Olafen and Nazis also used. He found them just as unconvincing, no matter if they came from Tokyo or Washington. In the end, it all came down to a desire for power. Principles didn't matter when there was opportunity to spite the United States. He shook his head as he watched the children play. They were so carefree and reminded him of his younger brother, and the times where they had feared the retaliation by the Americans after Hawaii. Hawaii. Japan might no longer need to fear America, but Angola was not so fortunate. Perhaps there was no reason to be here, but maybe he could at least ensure that something good came out of it regardless. The ambition of empires and new bounds. So wait, Unita, can we send you something? Oh! Okay, so we could get involved in this conflict, I had no idea. Did I miss that there was... Oh my god, I did miss it! There is an Angolan Civil War option here. Or maybe they... maybe it just started. And this was supposed to be the one uh, thing that we would get. But I had no idea that, uh, or didn't say that this option opened up. Okay, 
and Goa has fallen into civil war and the Olafan has already intervened, left unchallenged, they will assimilate yet another nation into its imperial fall. We must not allow this. Should the PLUAA succeed, not only will we defeat American imperialism, but gain a valuable ally and a gateway into the continent. Okay then. So can we... We can't send any air wings, that's fine. But we'll send... You guys, so I'll send the f 19th, uh, 19th and 18th, okay, so 20th and 3rd are gonna be just uh, staying at home as a reserve, and this is what, 1st IJA uh, expedition out of force, sure, let's send our volunteers, that's fine. Okay, so we're getting involved in more African stuff. And there we go, we are attacked. Okay, it's the organizational issue here, even though we're decimating them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we'll be able to repel this, no problem. Okay, there's two units blocking you now. But I don't think we'll have an issue getting either down. Um, so once you regain your organization, we could actually attack the cross Germanicus right here. Hey! The Republic of China has defeated the Wangxi Wang province. How did that work? Okay, but they're winning. They're definitely winning. So good for us. Uh, this thing has sold itself. Okay, in 10 hours they are gonna leave, but we're gonna attack them right about now. And we're gonna fail. Okay, so change your plan. Let them leave and let's take the territory. Uh, for some reason, this one is extremely strong, so hopefully the other one is not as strong, otherwise we're going to have to play it very defensively, because anything more than that would mean we struggle. But the idea of actually taking Leopold will, with, the, with their GDP and everything, would mean that we basically cut them off from most of their supply. And I kinda would like to see that. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Okay, 22nd of April, how long till we get the agricultural relief? Six more days. Okay, the, the music just stopped, it was really weird. Okay, so two of our divisions have arrived, PLUAA, and of course here there are bastards. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna push immediately against them, because I will not suffer this. Americans are desperate to regain their power. Death of Antonio de Oliveira Salazar. At 4.02 this morning, Jose Antonio Oliveira Salazar, one of the two caudillos of the Iberian Union and the leader of the Portuguese territories within the country, has been pronounced deceased by medical professionals. With his death passes over three decades of Portuguese history, reportedly the caudillo had died due to complications arising from cerebral hemorrhaging, of which he was of which he was under surgery to correct. The nation of Portugal is already in mourning for the leader, as in his former as is his former colleague Francisco Franco. Until a new successor is chosen for his position, Franco is the sole ruler of the Iberian Union, and experts believe this would be the perfect opportunity for Franco to become the sole ruler of Iberia if he dares to do so. Well stuff like that happens from time to time, doesn't it? Okay, Brazzaville and Leopoldville are the two main areas here. 
So once we repel this attack, we will be free to strike in the heart of enemy territory. Either way, we're gonna push them out and take Brazzaville. But we have to keep an eye on these guys because this is probably non-crossable, so we'll have to take Brazzaville, then move quickly northwards and attack via will. Okay, so we've taken this area. Okay, let's attack into here. This is a little upwork. We need to start taking away their riches. Oh nice, they're sending reinforcements here. Cool, good guys. Securing our back, because that's what I'm afraid of. The moment we move south towards Brazzaville, they could stab us in the back over there. Okay, so you guys recovered. This is ours, and this is also ours. So why not start by reclaiming what is ours and moving from there. So agricultural relief was passed. Now let us see again if we are doing good. No, we're not. We need more peers in the House of Peers. Uh, okay, so I should have done that before on foot. No, I can actually still do that. No, I can't. Dang it. Uh, well, okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a waste. So let me try something. We have a ton of unused public power. So if I use the public, it wouldn't change anything. Okay, we just gained more guys, but they're not supporting us. So, quarter the reformers, we would get 18 extra. Quarter the independence, we would get 5 more. And the force faction, and the death of wars are overall. So it's Court you and we're done. Okay, so this is gonna pass, no issue. And what is it gonna do? Increase our GDP. Okay, I guess that they all will do that. That's actually a little bit a little bit sad, but fine. So now the self-sufficient rice market. Rice is a wholesome nutrition nutritious food almost omnipresent in Asian cultures. To secure the prosperity of the sphere, our cabinet will endeavor to make available funds for all Asian nations wishing to increase and modernize their rice production. In addition, we will endeavor to ease the trade of this basic foodstuff among sphere nations by dropping tariffs and encouraging our allies to do the same. To increase demand, heavily populated countries will be encouraged to maintain food banks. These measures will be the foundation of our sphere's Elementary self-sufficiency. That's actually very smart. So public approval increased, the build increases. Agricultural society development will begin to rapidly improve. Poverty rate will slowly improve and inflation will decrease. Okay, it's actually pretty good all in all. Around it. Around it. Okay, so agricultural methods are stagnant. They're increasing slowly. We have mass mechanization, and if we would go to modern agriculture, we would get a little bit more monthly population, army, organization regain, recruitable population, and we use the penalty for needed goods. Okay, well, I'll take that. So we're moving in. You guys are moving. You're fighting here. These guys have no chance. We need to strike against this area. We need to take Bengo. At least these border mount mountainous border provinces. There's a river beyond, but that doesn't really bother us much. We are good at crossing those. So we finished the expanded command infrastructure, and now we could go modern special forces training. Special forces division training time is increased, but the recovery rate and organization as well by 0.2 and 5x5. Um, uh, five. 0.2 recovery rate and 5 organization. I lost my train of thought there for a moment. 
An exemplary soldier needs exemplary training. They will be taught to go to their physical, mental and emotional limits and go beyond. And when they experience the worst of conflict, they will stand firm and confident. Again, this one really helps all special forces, so there is literally no reason why not to get that one. Okay, so we've taken Lulaborg. I want to see, these guys are much weaker. Uh, who are they? Tanganyika. No, it's not it. People look at them. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so they don't really have that much as Leopoldville does. So striking against Leopoldville now is the smarter choice. Okay, need you wait for these guys to get away and then we strike against the Americans over there. Uh, so how would we handle this honestly? I think attacking over here and making a little bit of a salient is a good idea. Wait, actually, you know what I should have done? I should have done this first. Okay, that will save this area from being immediately retaken. Uh, protection units, let's get that one rolling. You are going over there. Agent captured in China. Fortunately, yeah. But we. Oh, that's interesting. We actually already had one at home, and we lost the other one. Uh, so rescue an operative. Commence when ready. Prepare. But you really need to be somewhere like this to make sure that that um, spy network stays and doesn't degrade too much. Okay, so you're moving there. You guys are moving here. Yeah, they won't be able to. But I mean, this is also good. Okay, so the. Americans are attacking us here, yet we have 1450 defense, which tells me they won't really be able to do much here against us. We're gonna really help them while they're trying to pass through our dead bodies. Well, actually taking this area would cut their territory in half. Could we do that? We could. Okay, so whoever retreats westwards is going to be destroyed. Sorry about that little skip. I actually had... Um, well, a blackout. Mm, it was a second one, but it was enough to take down my computer. I hope that the recording is okay. Uh, we're gonna continue. Uh, I made some tea in the meantime. Yep, we're moving towards Brazzaville, we're moving towards Ludoburg, and our units are moving towards the mountain province in Bile. So I had to, you know, go back to the save file and, uh, or the auto save file, and recover it from there. Ah, okay, we haven't taken the modern special forces training yet. Gotcha. And we have... Okay. What was that all about? Okay, so we're gonna attack Brazzaville. And we're gonna move south after that and try to cut their army in half. Oh wait, you haven't started your attack over here, okay. And this is a supply hub, it looks like. Yeah, okay. And the Americans 
and some others are attacking us this time, but I think we'll still be able to hold. Okay, here's the next. Uh, next unit. Okay, so you're being attacked. And you're attacking, you're moving over there. A cry for help. To our Asian brothers, the southwestern situation has not necessarily developed to our advantage. And Victor is still most certainly assured, but may be delayed without the support from our faithful ally, the Japanese Empire. We believe it to be in the best interest of all of Asia that this conflict meets a decisive and timely resolution. The death count grows greater by the day, and continued grain exports cannot be guaranteed during the crisis. We hope that your government deems it prudent to extend its famous generosity in the form of supplies and, if the situation requires it, men. It is our firm belief that Long Yun and his bandits cannot withstand the might of the Pan-Asian unity. To victory, the legislative yuan of the Republic of China. Okay, so we can now intervene in the Chinese can't. Okay, send weapons and funds. That's the one we never did, actually. And intervene in the Western Insurrection. Even the join the war. They seem to be doing far and well. Oh, okay, they're actually fighting the NI 24th Army as well. The National Protection Army and the Jinshan Administrative Office. Jinshi Yunfa. Civilian Dictatorship. They're winning in the north. They're winning in the... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need to fight there. At least not now. We're gonna join the moment we can, but I think that if we join the war right now, it's gonna take away our volunteers, which is not, you know, as they say, that's definitely not ideal. Okay, so they're attacking us from here now, so we have to strike back at them. So the advanced anti-air equipment has been finished, which is amazing, because it allows us to get an a new thing here. Instead of the improved anti-air, we're gonna get the advanced anti-air. And I'd say it would make sense to pull a bit more factories on that one, though I'm not entirely sure if we have anywhere to take them from. I mean, we can always take them from here. An interview with Neto Dono. Imadaharu Kichi, a journalist for the Mainichi Shinbun on assignment somewhere in Angola, found himself fairly unimpressed with the man he was interviewing. The man was Agostino Neto. The venue was a fast motorboat on a river, the leader of the PLUAA. Far from being the bombastic Chohi that Imada would have expected, was instead a person of a man with a modern temperament. He treated Imada with courteous respect and asked polite questions about the journalist, his home, his newspapers and his family. As the interview went on, Imada noticed one thing about Neto. The man was stubborn to a fault. Whenever Imada brought up the PLUAA, Neto would narrow or roll his eyes and say things like, their ideas are at last misguided and at worst a prostration before American and German imperialism. After the second such attempt, Imada gave up and changed the subject, only to be interrupted by Neto, who had ordered the boat to stop. Senor Imada, I beg your pardon, but can you tell me what you see? Neto was pointing at a village by the far bank of the river. Imada looked and said that he saw a village. Neto sorrowfully shook his head. You're right, but I don't just see that. I see destitute, hungry people ruined by the imperialist manipulations of the masses. No riches, no pride in their own culture, no pan-Africanism, no nothing. That there, Senor Imada, is what I fight for. To find a way to put an end to that side, to give these people a chance for happier times, a happier wife, 
as his respect for Nato deepened, Imada nodded. Okay, I think we're gonna use that to end the episode here. The Agricultural Relief Act is gonna pass in about 27 days. Self-sufficient micro... Yeah, okay, that's 27 days as well, pretty much. We're fighting in Angola and we are advancing in here. So let me just... Actually, let me attack over here and then here. We're gonna deepen our veg in that territory. And if we can manage to take this territory and then eliminate at least a couple of units in here. Well, unfortunately, it seems they're moving all eastwards, but either way, it's a good choice. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.